ladies and gentlemen, uh, I believe we have UFC flyweight Gina Mazzani on the show. Hell yeah, what's up? Hi, how are you, Gina? Hold on, I have you muted. Give me one second. Is that on her end or is that on our end, Natalie? Uh, that I believe is on her end. Yeah, hit, hit. I'm better. I'm better now. There you go. There you go. Hi. How are you guys? What's going on? How are you today? I'm good. I'm trying to sit my phone. I is that is that okay? No, is it's that great. Right? Perfect. It's perfect. You look very wonky, cool. But... She's like she's like uh you know she's, she's kind of like the Joker, uh, Harley Quinn. A very this is that a, is that an intimidating look? Do you do you do you do that? To get into your opponent's head, or they're like, oh, shit, this girl's coming at me with a wild look, tattoos, blue hair? You know, uh, it's green. But no, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> I mean, I started doing this when I was going to school in Seattle. I was going to school, like, have a art, uh, graphic, graphic design degree. So um, it's just, I don't know. I've just been coloring my hair forever. I, I don't like think it, my though. hair tattoos. Thank you. It, hair sounds, and it, it could be a real... Like an intimidating thing if like maybe you look at them from one side and you're real friendly, but then you look at them back from the <laughs> right. other side and you're real pissed off all of a sudden and they're like, who am I fighting? Right. My multiple personalities. I'm crazy. It's fine. I'll enjoy. <laughs> so you said you, said you went, you were going to art school and, uh, and then to, to talk to us a little bit to introduce yourself a little bit to our audience. How does that come about? How are you in art school, which is, you know, typically a nonviolent profession, um, how do you end up becoming a UFC fighter and taking that career turn? First of all, life's crazy. Um, so I, I'm born and raised in Anchorage, Alaska. I started fighting up there. Um, and then I went and moved to Seattle to go to school. I was still training, so competing. Um, and then I got my degree. Uh, and then I decided that I didn't want to pursue my degree anymore. And I wanted to really pursue fighting. So I quit my awesome job and I sold all my stuff in my full house and I moved packed all my stuff in my little Ford Focus my dog and my cat and I moved to Vegas and really pursued the dream hard and then uh, made it to the UFC which honestly I never thought I would do I just really enjoyed fighting um, and then uh, eventually made it out to Missouri uh, where I trained with uh, James Krause over here at Glory MMA Hell yeah. And so w when you say you, 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 you know, you enjoyed fighting, when was the moment you noticed you're like, oh shit, I enjoy punching people and being punched in the Have face. Have you been to Anchorage, Alaska, Lewis? They fight there. <laughs> they, they're tough people in Anchorage. Well, isn't it like 10 to one, yeah. like men to women? Yeah. Something yeah. Like that. Yeah. It was cool. Cause like when I was in Alaska, I'm like, oh, I'm a 10 and I go back to Vegas. I'm like, oh wait, I'm a six. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I'll take it. No, but yeah, it was, it's a thing there. Well, cause like during the winter time, it's so dark and when you're going to school or whatever, like there's nothing really to do after school. So I would literally go from school and go to start training. Um, I started training when I was 17, which is, which nowadays is like old, but what did I you start mean, training? Uh, when I was about 17. No, I'm saying what, what martial life. art? Oh, um, so I started training jujitsu cause my brothers were like, Oh, you get self-defense. And I fell in love with it. And then I, uh, started doing boxing for cardio. And that was the moment that I realized I enjoyed fighting because like I got my butt kicked and I was like, I love this. This is awesome. Like I was, I was hooked. And then once I did an MMA fight, I was like, this is, this is a, this is the thing. This is my it thing. It takes a special breed of person to be punched in the face and go, oh, wow. I, I, I think I like that. Yeah. What a, <laughs> I got problems. <laughs> <laughs> were you, were you like a, were you a, like a tough kid growing up? Did you get into street fights and things like that? goodness no i was a little weasel like i was a little weenie like i uh i was like heavily picked on and like i was just like the artsy like weird kid uh i maybe i still am um but no i just I, I just i have the thing i love about fighting is it's like the ultimate uh competition like just to be like it's like a human chess match you have to be so much better than the other per like you have to compete with this person so much to the point where they want to, or their body tells them they have to physically quit. And I just think that's so cool. So it, alpha. It, it, it really is. And you see, so you were not an athletic or a tough kid growing up. You were, you said you were kind of nerdy. Okay. I, so I was, I was very athletic, but I mean, I was just like, I wasn't like, Oh, I'm going to beat everybody up. Like I was never like that. I just like to compete. I enjoyed being an athlete and I enjoyed competing um, but I wasn't like, I wasn't like trying to fight with anybody. Like I like to fight with people to compete. I, I'm not a huge fan of confrontation. Like nowadays it's different cause it's my job, but, uh, yeah. I mean, before I was like, Oh, no, thanks. So have you See ever ya. been, ever been in a street fight? 
uh i wouldn't consider it like a street fight like i've been like sucker punched before and i was like whoa and then i beat her up but like, yeah, like wrong, okay. <laughs> wrong person to sucker punch yeah you go, you go whoa yeah. you're stupid yeah, well, you dumb dumb <laughs> So uh, t- talk to me a little bit about, um, you know, your career with the UFC. This is, you, you, this is, you've had multiple runs with the UFC now, right? Yep. Yep. They and fired you, me once. I'm back. Yeah, well, that, that's great. Like, honestly, I think it's, it, that, it's very commendable. I think getting back to the UFC is almost a different challenge in itself. Have you noticed that it was, was it harder to get in the first time or harder to get back? So when I got in the first time, it was like uh, one of those things where the opportunity came to the door and I was the one that I'm, I'm going to open it. I was four and I was a pro. Um, Misha Tate was a good friend and my manager at the time. And she called me, Hey, uh, they want you to fight Sarah McMahon on 16 days notice. And I was like, yep, done. I'll be there. Like, I, there's no questions about it. And, and then I didn't really realize it until after the fight that I'm like, girl, you just like, you just got choked by number seven in the world. Like Sarah McMahon, like she's, she's a legend in the sport, you know, especially mm-hmm. at that time that she was, you know, killing it. Nobody wanted to fight her on short notice. And I was like, I will, like, I don't care. Uh, so that's what got me in. Um, and really it's, it's been a, it's been a wild ride ever since. And, um, I'm grateful to be there. They're one of the, you know, the best company for MMA to be working for. And, uh, they take care of us and get us fights and yeah, life's good. That's awesome. That's awesome. And your husband as well, also a, a UFC fighter. And I almost made, I, I was going to say, I'm not going to mention your husband because I'm sure that everybody in interviews mentions the fact that you're married to Tim Elliott, but, the you know i i almost feel like it, or i'm sorry you're not you're his fiance i apologize you have a wedding coming up am i reading this well, it's coming up in october <laughs> yep yeah oh congratulations congratulations yeah i think it's yeah a no i mean idea. it's it's a <laughs> it's a, well it's honestly it's a hard thing for me not to talk about as tim because he's a huge part of my life and my career and like he's the big reason why i am where i am and how you know, I've dropped to 125. So I used to fight at a weight class much higher and um, not much higher, just one weight class up. But uh, yeah, he's a huge, he's a huge part of my career. So he's hard not to talk about. And he's, he's a wild thing too. He's very entertaining. No, he's awesome. We had him on the show actually uh, uh, recently. He's awesome. Uh, he's a, he's a great patriot as Dave realize that that day uh, yeah Smith, i didn't Smith even Smith. want to talk to him about fighting i want to talk to him about how we overthrow biden that's what i want <laughs> <laughs> oh so man. let's put together a plan don't get dave going oh so oh, talk heck, to me powers combined you're fighting this saturday night uh shanna young uh talk to me a little bit about your opponent what do, what do you know about her what's the game obviously can't give away the the full game plan but uh why do you think you're gonna win this fight saturday um you know i've just for so since my last fight i i did really well in my last fight and i was literally winning the whole time until i wasn't and just sometimes it happens like that in this ruthless sport of mma um but since then i was like i remember after that fight i was like i want to make sure i'm skill building and i'm like to my bet i want to make sure i'm peaking at the right time i want everything to be like on point so i just made it a point to uh be on my like just be on my shit and uh anyway so the girl that i'm fighting um i think it's a great matchup for me um i think that where i'm at now what gym i'm training at now is i'm able to like create a uh, a system for everything that i do and like a striking system a wrestling system a jujitsu system um and i i'm not sure if she's had those systems in play for her because i've been tra- i've been training for you know almost almost 15 years and this is the first time in my whole career where i've like really been honing in a, a, a system so i think that uh with with good coaching and good cardio and good good uh I don't know, good skill skills that I've been building. Like, I think I'm going to be able to uh, capitalize on her mistakes and make her make mistakes. And I don't know. And that's the thing is, I don't even know how the fight's going to go. Everyone's like, Oh, how are you going to fight her? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, do you watch, ta- do you like, watch have- tape? Do you, do you like really get into your opponent and, and sort of like develop a specific game plan for them? Or what's your approach to it? I definitely watch tape now. I used to be kind of anti watching tape because it gave me like anxiety and stuff. And then I was like, wait a minute, we live in this anxiety. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I watch tape on her. Um, I have an idea of like things that she likes to do. And I've been working on things to like counteract that. Um, she, uh, she's, she's wild. Like she's, she, she's like a really good girl fighter. If that makes sense. Like she's just like kind of flaily and like, she like, 
she goes for it, you know? Um, and so it's, but, but she also may come out easy. I don't know. So it's, I just, right now I just kind of like focus on myself and then, uh, you know, prepare for whatever she has coming, coming my way. But yeah, I definitely watch tape, um, on her, myself, other fighters that I want to be like, um, I, uh, yeah, I, I think, I think watching tape is a huge part of the game that is like underutilized. For yeah. Sure. I, I mean, I, look, I, I really do wish you the, the best of luck. I, it sounds like it's going to be a very, very exciting fight. You you know, we were just talking about this earlier on today with the, the Andrade win, with that crazy submission this past Saturday night. I feel like, you know, the, the girls, especially in the UFC, if you win in emphatic fashion and you make a statement, like literally in every fight, it's such a, it's a really big opportunity. Not to sound sexist, but I feel like for the girls specifically, if you get that stoppage, you get on that microphone, you make it that right call out, you're a few moves away from very, very big things. Do you agree with that? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. And that's actually one thing that Tim always says is he's like, hey, remember this fight may be the one that's going to change your life. Like, you know, yeah. And, and it's true. It's really true. And, and uh, one thing about this fight I am really excited about is uh, I'm really excited to like impress myself and like show how good I am because like, I'm really good. And I just, I feel like I haven't had, uh, I don't know, I've had good showings, but I I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm really hoping to have one of those stoppages where people are like, holy shit, that was yeah, crazy. Yeah. And, Let me I, ask you know, you. and that, that, Oh no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just blabbing. You, you go on. <laughs> no, I was just gonna, I was gonna ask you if maybe you're in the same situation I am when Lewis said not to be sexist, did you imagine he was going to say something way more sexist? Cause I definitely did. <laughs> like when he said, when he went not to be sexist, I was like, Oh God, here we go. He gonna oh, say shit? And then you just said something that wasn't I, that sexist at all. <laughs> I don't even be like, not to be I, sexist, but are you well, just happy I, to be the, out of the, the kitchen? The reason it sounds I mean, like, sexist why? is because I, I'm not saying that it's like an easier path for the women, you know, Well, I'm, there's less, there's less women fighters on the roster yes and therefore it's a little bit you know you're less steps away from from the top but the the women's divisions i mean this this weight class is getting i just think when you see a crazy finish with the chicks people are always talking about it the next day always talking about the next day that's true um so look well i'm gonna let you go i I know look it's fight week this is this is a a big deal um you seem like you're in great spirits do you get do you get bitchy at all do you get angry during fight week a lot of fighters we talk to on fight week they're they're in bad moods you could tell I mean, I get short. I, of course, sweet Tim, like I get short with him a little bit, but it's like usually because <laughs> I'm hungry or I need to eat. Um, but overall, like I love my job. I, I'm so grateful to be doing what I'm doing. So, like, the dieting sucks and like having to wait to weigh in, having to wait to fight, like, is a bummer. But, like, man, I would do this. 10 out of 10 times over like working a nine to five job. Like, Way so better than graphic really- design. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know, like, fight week is awesome. Like, it sucks. I'm a little hungry. I'm skinny as heck. Like, it hurts when I sit down because I'm all bony. But, like... <laughs> but those ab I mean, shots you know, in the mirror? You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look, thank you so much. Gina Mazzani, we, we wish you the best of luck. Good luck this weekend. I really hope you win. We will be watching. Um, Anything else to, to plug or say before you get out of here? Nothing. Just appreciate it for having you guys or ha- for you guys having me on. Uh, if you guys want to find me on social media, I'm Gina Danger AK. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Hell Thank yeah. you so much. Very cool. Thank you so much, Gina. 